Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Andrew Hughes here from the ANU to talk about my research into why it is negative political advertising does not work. Before we can do that though, let's look at an ad which does work, which really gets our attention and keeps it all the way from the second one. This is Ryanville, this is a car ad from the US Super Bowl this year. It's a great example of an ad which does work. There's a celebrity in it for sure, but look at the speed, the music. We can just sit back and enjoy this one. This is a great watch. We can enjoy watching this. And that's the key to effective advertising, that you enjoy watching the ad because it means you like it and you recall the information in it quite favorably and you develop a preference towards the brand talked about in the message. It's a great example of why advertising can be effective. Okay, now we've seen one which does work. Let's see one which does not work. And that's a political ad. This is from Bill Shorten from this year's campaign. Okay, first thing we can see it's Bill Shorten. So our attitude towards politicians comes up in our heads, which isn't favorable. And then we've got all these words here on the screen. Now there's one over here. You can see some words appear about their messaging. And even though it's a very short ad, there's a lot of content in that for us to remember and engage with and really connect with. And at the same time, it's a political ad. We're switching off them, not on them. So even though it's a positive ad, what my research found is that that still is not effective at getting our attention and making us recall the message in it. Okay, surely that's one example. There's others. Let's look at this one here from Malcolm Turnbull. Again, a positive message. And he's the Prime Minister, so he should be able to get our attention from second one. But at the same time, he's a politician. So think about our awareness in politics at the moment. It's there, but at the same time, we're sick of this campaign. But here's where it's going wrong. Look at all these words on the screen here. They want us to remember and read and engage with these words, what we're seeing on the screen. But we don't, because our attitude towards the ad is negative. Even though it's a positive message, our attitude is negative. So we're not gonna pay any attention to these words here on the screen, which means all these words here are a waste. We're not gonna remember them. If we're not gonna remember them, then it's pointless having them there in the first place. So, which is what my research found, is that people don't remember these words here on the screen. They're not recalled by people from watching these ads. Okay, let's look at um, an example of an ad which does work. This is a political ad which worked really well, and my research found this to be the most liked and recalled message of all the ones I studied and examined. And you can see why, look at this, the words here on the screen. Simple, they're easy for us to read, they come up on the screen slow, we have time to engage in it. And the crazy thing about this ad, it wasn't even made by a political party. It was made by an advertising agency for a TV show. So when the shackles are removed and advertising agencies are given free reign, they make an ad like this. Positive, nice music, engaging all the way through. Picked up by the fact that down here, so far it's got 40, nearly 40,000 views on YouTube. The other ads I've shown you have only got a couple hundred at best. So it's a case in point where the market does speak and as marketers and advertisers, you know, we need to engage with our market and that's a good sign that we are down here. Okay, but can negative advertising ever be effective? Can it ever get our attention to some point or description? Good question, right? So it can if we use humor and humor takes off the edge as it were on the negativity of the message itself. So we tend to watch it because it's funny, it's amusing. But at the same time, we're not liking the message because it's still negative and it's still from a politician. So even though we're uh, engaged with the message somewhat and we can recall parts of the ad, what we recall is that we hate the message because it's negative. So that's my research found is that people recalled negative ads. Yes, they did, but what they recalled is how much they hate these things when they see them. So if anything, it was turning people off the message and off the politics. All right. Let's see if there's someone out there in politics who believes me and supports what I'm saying. Is there someone? There is. Oh, whew. I'm safe. And it's fact from Labor and it's from Sam Dastiari and it's proving here why negative ads don't work. Do you like that ad? No. You can see out of the mouths of these kids themselves. Oh, kids are always honest with their opinions about things, aren't they? Um, and you can hear what they're talking about. They don't like the negative ad. And does Sam, let's see what he thinks. Should they put happy music on? Yeah. Oh, of course. So if you're wondering, even politicians themselves recognize the fact that negative political ads don't work. All right, thanks for listening. I hope you found this enjoyable and interesting. For more information, please go to our website. You'll find more information there.